Welcome back. There's an extremely shameful, painful incident that's happened in Maharashtra, in Mumbai. A young man, 28-year-old, was Hyderabad-based, died. No, rather he was killed. Actually, the right word was he was lynched in India's financial capital, in broad daylight, on a busy street, lynched to death. That's right. Why? Road rage. Let me explain. Akash Main and his wife were on a motorcycle, a bike, when an auto rickshaw driver overtook them, brushing them closely, according to the family. Akash and the auto driver had a heated exchange, and soon the auto rickshaw driver was joined by his allies. The family of Akash told Times of India that they tried to defuse the situation. But the auto rickshaw driver had called in 10 to 15 other people and they dragged Akash down. His mother, a MNS worker in the video, is seen throwing herself on Akash mind. That's on your screen, visuals. The lady in a green sari lying on the road is the mother of this biker who flung herself on him as a human shield. But the mob continued to thrash him and beat him up. That's just one part of this horrible story. Another part of this horror, the mother claims once the police came and the family rushed Akash to the hospital, the son remained on a stretcher till a senior MNS official or a functionary arrived at the hospital and spoke to the management. Crowd that had gathered, according to the mother, didn't intervene or try to defuse the situation. Instead, just kept recording on the phone. My colleague Abhishek spoke to the victim's mother in an exclusive. Let's listen in. हमारे साथ आकाश की मदर दीपाली जी हैं. दीपाली जी, बहुत दुख की बात है. आज हमारे बीच आकाश नहीं रहे. आपने पूरी कोशिश की वीडियो में हम देख सकते हैं अगर बताएं कि उस समय क्या घटना हुई और बाकी के लोग हम देख रहे हैं कि वीडियो बना रहे थे लेकिन कोई आपकी मदद करने आगे नहीं आया सर अभी का जो ये जो सब चल रहा है सब वीडियो निकालने में व्यस्त है पर मेरे लड़के को बचाने के लिए कोई आगे नहीं आया और जो लोग मार रहे हैं इसी तरीके से मार रहे क्या मैं बोलूं मैं कुछ बोल ही नहीं सकती हूं मेरे लड़के का पूरा हाल हाल करके वो लोग ने मार दिए बहुत अभी एकदम उसके ऊपर अभी आप ही लोग देखो जो भी है वो भी ऐसी घटना मुंबई जैसे शहर में होती है कोई आ नहीं रहा आपने पूरी कोशिश की हम देख सकते हैं उस वीडियो में और कहीं ना कहीं दस से बारह लोगों को रिक्शा वाले ने बुलाया ताकि उसे और मारा जा सके ऐसी घटना मुंबई में हो रही है आज आपने लड़का खोया है कल उठ के और किसी के साथ ऐसा होगा प्रशासन से आप क्या कहना चाहते हैं प्रशासन ने ये सब चीज के ऊपर ध्यान देना चाहिए आज मुंबई शहर में ये सब कुछ हो रहा है इसके से अभी देखो हम लोग महिलाएं तो सिक्योर है नहीं ये मुंबई शहर है अभी हम लोग को जाने करेगा ऐसी सब घटना करती है आज मेरे लड़के के वजह से कल उठ के दूसरे को भी हो जाएगा तो इसके लिए कुछ तो भी सबने ध्यान देना चाहिए मैम दूसरी बात अगर समझना चाहे की उन्हें मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट समय पर नहीं मिला ऐसे आरोप लग रहे हैं आप उनके साथ में थे क्या कहना चाहेंगे उन्हें तुरंत अस्पताल ले जाया गया क्या मेडिकल फैसिलिटी अवेलेबल नहीं थी और कहां कहां उन्हें लेके जाया पड़ा और आखिरकार ये घटना ये जो बैड न्यूज है वो आपको मिली है हॉस्पिटल में हम लोग गए तो उधर तो अभी समझो डॉक्टर देख रहे उनको मालूम है सर्जन अपने इधर नहीं है हम लोग ने लेके तो उन्होंने तभी फर्स्ट बोलना चाहिए था हमारे इधर ऐसे कुछ अवेलेबल नहीं है ई सी नहीं है सोनोग्राफी नहीं है कुछ नहीं है इतना बड़ा हॉस्पिटल है उसको ट्रॉमा केयर बाला साहेब ठाकरे का नाम दिया है और वो हॉस्पिटल में कुछ भी सुविधा नहीं मेरे लड़के ने उल्टी भी किया तो वहाँ पे जो आया भाई रहते मौसी वार्ड भाई रहते वो लोग कोई नहीं आए उल्टा हम लोग को बोला गया उल्टी पूछो जल्दी करो अरे पेशेंट एक तो मेरा लड़का तड़फड़ रहा है और हम लोग को ही बोल रहे वो उल्टी साफ करो ये करो अरे कर रहे हम लोग पर तुम लोग ट्रीटमेंट तो करो उन लोग ने बहुत ये किया मुझे हॉस्पिटल पे तो एकदम ये बहुत डिले किया उन लोग ने कुछ नहीं हम लोग को 
तकरीबन कितने हॉस्पिटल जाना पड़ा मतलब ट्रॉमा के बाद आप और भी कहीं गए नहीं ट्रॉमा के बाद हम लोग गए नहीं किधर हम लोग जाने का कोशिश कर रहे थे पर वो लोग बोले कि पेशेंट हम लोग स्टेबल कर रहे स्टेबल कर रहे हम लोग सब हॉस्पिटल में इंक्वायरी तो चल रहा था हमारी जो शालीन ताई है वो लोग उन्होंने भी मुझे बहुत सपोर्ट किया ताई ने सब इंक्वायरी कर रही थी और वो बोल रहे हम लोग सब मरी बना रहे ये कर रहे पेशेंट तुम्हारा स्टेबल हो जाएगा तभी लेके जाओ तब तक मेरा लड़का जा जब हम लोग ने सब कर इसके बीच में सब सब गया क्या बोलूँ मैं ये नौ लोगों को अरेस्ट किया गया है और साथ में वो रिक्शा वाला भी है और क्या मांग करते हैं कि मर्डर केस में तो अरेस्ट किया है इनको बेल नहीं मिले और सख्त से सख्त सजा की जाए हाँ ऐसे तो होना ही चाहिए उनको मेरे सामने मेरे लड़के को मारा गया है उनको बेल तो नहीं मिलनी चाहिए और कड़ी से कड़ी कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए मेरे पुलिस प्रशासन पे बहुत भरोसा है वो ही मुझे सपोर्ट कर सकते हैं एक आखिरी सवाल करना चाहता हूँ कि अगर हर बार ऐसा देखा गया है कि ऐसे इंसिडेंट में लोगों को बचाया जा सकता था आपका बच्चा भी आपके पास होता अगर सही तौर पे मेडिकल ट्रीटमेंट मिलता तो इसको लेकर के आप क्या कहेंगे कि आज आगे के ऐसे इंसिडेंट ना हो और जो मेडिकल फैसिलिटीज है गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल्स में उसको वापस इम्प्रूव करना चाहिए और इस तरीके से जाने बचाई जा सकती है बोलने के इसमें है नहीं अभी अभी आप लोग Well, that's a distraught mother who is speaking. And before I go to my colleague Abhishek, let's just look at this visual on your screen. That's the mother you just heard. That mother in a green sari and the father fending off a mob, fighting a mob, trying to save his son. That's the reality of what unfolded in a city in India's financial capital. That's Mumbai. A mother, a possibly a senior citizen or very close to that on the road who flung herself over her son a 28 year old young man who was returning after booking his car his first car he was along with his pregnant wife and then you have the father of that young man who's trying to stop a angry mob who's beating and thrashing his son to death lynching a young man to death i'm being joined by my colleague abhishek at this point abhishek this is heartbreaking this is shameful this is shameful that this has happened in mumbai this is shameful that this is happening in india you spoke to the mother very quickly give us the highlights of what she has spoken that interview was in hindi so for those who may not have understood very quickly give us what she told you it definitely firstly she was not in the state to speak we have convinced her and we told her that it is for the justice of your son that we want to talk to you so the truth should come out and what you have gone through she said that you know it was me who was struggling to save my son but the people around were making videos you know shame on humanity none of the people who were present across we could could be clearly seen in this video came forward to stop this you know entire lynching which was going on and after that they could could have saved uh, akash you know they took him uh, to the hospital from where again the same repetitive thing started a uh, surgeon was not there as she claimed they were not informed that he is not there so that in that span of time she could have taken her son to another hospital and at the same time she narrated that you know her son who was battling to life vomited at that given point of time and she was told to clean it rather than there was no hospital staff available constant oh, assurances were given so that you know he would be recovering and after that and after that she would be taken uh, he would be taken back home but in the meantime she uh, they couldn't save him and what is the mother alleging is the, the lack right. of medical facility and delay in the treatment cost 
his son's life. So I mean, uh, lastly, she said that Abhishek, bail should not be given to those nine people who are arrested. Thank you very much for bringing us that interview. It's a very important paid. interview. It brings out so many aspects. Of course, it's a it's a very emotional moment for them. It's a heartbreaking emo emotional moment for them. But thank you for reaching out to them. Thank you very much, Abhishek. I'm being joined at this point by Dr. Vikram Singh, the former DGP for Uttar Pradesh, as well as Rajni Gandhi, who is the General Secretary for Tracks Road Safety NGO. Thank you very much, both of you, for joining us. Dr. Vikram Singh, this could be me, this could be anybody else. Any young person who uses a two-wheeler is on the streets of India. This could be their story. This is not acceptable. So many things that have gone wrong, starting first, a mob that goes on to lynch a young man to death. Those who were recording the video and did nothing. It, was a, it were two elderly parents who were trying to protect their son. And thirdly, allegations of negligence, late response by a hospital. Dr. Vikram Singh, what more can go wrong? Sneha, good evening. It will bleed anyone's heart to see these scenes and what went wrong. Everything went wrong. Every possible thing went wrong. And not only were the bystanders, were mute spectators, but there were those who were filming at the video. The hospital, they were callous and absolutely callous. I would say criminal negligence on the part of the hospital. Now, coming to the fact that it is not just a road rage, I take it as a cold-blooded, deliberate mob lynching and murder. A murder most foul, as you very rightly mentioned in your opening remarks, with a seven month old, with a pregnant wife and the parents trying to shield their, their son. In vain though, but they did whatever a parent would do, an affected parent. I salute the composure and also the manner in which the mother conducted herself in your interview. Well, there couldn't have been a worse strategy, but on my appeal to the Mumbai police would be that I had expected a lot more. The mob collected, the mob thrashed, and you came late. You did not intervene in time. Now, the least you can do to atone for your lapses is to invoke the provision of 103, subsection 2, mob lynching of the new Harthi Nyaya Sangita, which gives the minimum seven years punishment. And not only to thus the who were immediate aggressors, but everybody who was a part of the attacking party should be booked. And that is what mob lynching is all about. I do hope that this is a test case put into a fast track court and punishment meted out to all these hoodlums, all these people who have taken law in their own hands. I'm sure, Sneha, you would agree that they need to go to the gallows in the next 35 days. If that does not happen, well, the Mumbai police has blood on their hands. Dr. Vikram Singh, you're making a very important point. And remember when the new Bharatiya Nyaya Sanita came out before the public, the government's in fact, the central government, several top officials from the police said one thing, and that is, it is stricter. One more aspect that they said, if you are part of a crime, not being actively but passively recording, you still will be an accused Neither. or party to the crime. Well, here's a litmus test, whether it unfolds or not. Rajni Gandhi, if I can get you in, Rajni Gandhi, road rage is a Challenge backed with data, state after state, particularly in the metro areas as well. Rajni Gandhi, what would you say are your big concerns as you see what's emerged? First of all, the case is really, what has happened is really heartfelt because something is happening on such roads is uh, in, and in presence of many people and they are doing nothing. Uh, it's really, uh, really sad for us and bad for us because, you know, there is a tag, there is a line, the way we use roads, it depicts nation's image. So we need to understand what we are seeing and we are not coming forward to help our own people. But there are some other reasons also we need to check out. The road raising cases are, are increasing day by day. We need to understand what are the exact reasons of it and how we need to curb it. Also, in the uh, in the interview with you, we have mentioned that we need to know which type of road users are on road. We don't know what type of state they are having while they are driving. Are they actually trained drivers or they are just like that? And we know the reality. This is the result that we are having all type of road users, all type yeah, of Rajni, drivers, and they are doing whatever Gandhi, they want to do. If you are yeah. driving on the road, 
you may be driving your car you may be driving your two wheeler you may be walking on the streets how can you take the onus of what kind of driver trained not trained he's an auto rickshaw driver obviously he's been driving an auto rickshaw for years he's not a young person who's driving an auto rickshaw he's been driving it for several years so it's not like he's just got his license and started driving that's just one part of it rashni gandhi to the viewers i want to take this point forward to the viewers who are watching you if they are ever a witness to a crime scene such as this and i'm calling it a crime scene i'm not calling it an accident scene this is a crime this is a deliberate yeah. killing this is lynching exactly. and if they are recording on their phones what would you tell them see this is a time we have a good samaritan law with us we are coming forward to help the road crash victim so if you are coming forward nobody is going to tell you anything so stop filming it come out from that zone that something is going to happen to you and you need to come out with the solution but secondly that is the need of the r that we need to work on the enforcement system also we need to have that status as well as that if there is a panic but system or something we people are coming forward we need to work on that and second thing very important the role modeling we need to initiate such message and promotion of message that yes road is for all and responsibility is of everyone it can be happen you said very well it can be happen with me with you and with anyone so we need to come out from that zone that it is going to happen with someone i think that is required even calling 100 number or 112 so that at least you may play your role instead of only filming the show and don't make it just a show it's Dr. a lie dr vikram singh there are you. nine people who have been arrested at this point in this case there are nine people but look at that mob look at that mob there there are definitely more than nine people and look at the allegations against the hospital of course that's the one version we don't know what's the other version of it but nonetheless there are allegations against the hospital as well isn't it time to take cases against more absolutely sneha criminal negligence on the part of the hospital they could have done much much better in a scale of 1 to 10 they didn't just deliver 2 out of 10 whereas that could have been absolutely much better than that something around 9 out of 10 and to question that they're certainly not nine sneha you're absolutely right there are many many more and i can hazard a guess nothing less than 16 and these 16s need to go to the gallows i do hope that the mumbai police and the administration are watching and listening to your show and they do wake up and be accountable not only to the rule of law but to their conscience also if it doesn't move you well i have nothing to add i have nothing more to say but the ground reality is absolutely petrifying and scary to say the least you very rightly mentioned it can happen to any one of us so the least we can do is to say that don't be a passive bystander before it's too late be an active supporter of the victim and to those who need your assistance and help Rajiv Gandhi and this is an important question as well you know i i we don't know what really happened at that moment we don't know what we do know is apparently the auto driver overtook the biker bikers very closely brushing them very closely the man had a pregnant wife behind so i don't know what would have agitated them we can't go into the situation because we don't know what really happened nonetheless the point is a heated argument led to a man being lynched is there a big takeaway from there i mean everybody tells this to particularly young people as well but across age groups don't get into heated arguments on the road Do you want to get more on to, into this? I think there is there is a need of role modeling right now. The court has to give a very strong message from this case. We have seen a lot of cases till now, and we haven't seen the strong message. So that is the need. Youngsters will definitely understand when such type of messages are coming from the big authority. The roads are, you know, full of traffic congestion, everyday problem. so we need to understand that if the psychology we need to change so all the three factors on road will work road user behavior cannot change into a single way we have to understand other areas also which are affecting the road users behavior so we need to set the role modeling whom we are following even that also is very important important these days whom we are follow as a role model 
and secondly role modeling from the authority side what type of decisions right. are coming very in quick front of last people. question to dr vikram yes. singh I, I just possibly have a minute dr vikram singh dr vikram singh very important to um, to be able to address situations that may be near misses on the road with a cool head to know what to do what should one do if you are on a bike if you are on a car you've had a close brush you've had a near miss what must you do what's the appropriate way of reacting on the road sneha you already said that words of profound wisdom do not enter into any heated arguments ever it is counterproductive for both parties number 2 have 112 and 100 on a fast dialing mode and do that before it's too late if you do that 99% of the probability is that there will be no fatal exchanges and be extremely alert and careful and do not court the risk of disaster by entering into heated arguments it is always counterproductive dr vikram singh rajni gandhi thank you very much for joining us this is a very very heartbreaking story the visuals are hugely churning our condolences and prayers with the family thank you very much for joining us it's time for a